Zooming in another pump, please. I come in here and it's war. It's sometimes chaos. I didn't even know really what burnout meant as a nurse until I hit COVID. A year and a half into the pandemic, and just 38% of Mississippi's population is fully vaccinated, pushing new cases and hospitalizations higher. Officials warn there aren't enough beds, but on the front lines, the focus isn't space, it's staff. We have had situations in here with COVID, with people this critical, where two people start to go bad at once, and you have to decide which room you run to. It's a hard decision to make. It's hard to see a 34-year-old, the family, not make it. You can't describe that. The stress of those decisions, of the growing number of young COVID patients, and preventable death brought Nicole to a breaking point earlier this month. You made the decision to resign. Why? Sometimes it feels like we're fighting a losing battle. Yet, a week after that conversation, Nicole was still in the ICU. I realized, uh, as I was saying goodbye to these nurses here, that I couldn't leave them in the middle of this. That's where a nurse's heart comes in, you know. You don't want to see your coworker suffer as, as much as you don't want to see a patient suffer. Mississippi has at least 2,000 fewer nurses than it did at the beginning of the year. It looks heroic and it looks, but that's not what it is. It's sweaty and hard and chaotic and bloody.